I returned from the photo shoot now just open to whatever God wanted. And I was in Austin in my bathroom, wide awake, walking to my closet of, of all places, you know, um, still like caught up in the things of the world. And I had, it's so difficult to ex explain this, um, and it took years but it, to find out what it was, but it was an illumination of my soul. Um, it was like a life review, wide awake, my whole life flashed before my eyes. I immediately dropped to the floor, like my jaw was on the ground. I was like, oh, like I didn't even know I was in sin. I saw all my sins. I saw the ripple effect of my actions. I saw, and it, I'm sorry, this is, it's actually really painful to talk about. My my whole story is one of mercy and it's, it's a really awesome story. But when you see your soul and you didn't even know, like I didn't even know I was in sin. And then people were, I was shown I had a gift of leadership and people were following me, even the way I was dressing or doing something. And they like were, I was modeling something and then they followed it and someone followed them and someone followed them. And just like the ripple effect of the things that we do in life. And then I was shown, I had like this good column, which was the column to love, the column to be who I was created to be, to use the gifts and graces I had to help build the kingdom. And like, I wasn't even shown anything in it. I was shown like a line, like a, you didn't love, like there was nothing in there. Then I was shown that this good column weighed more than my worst sin. Like it would have crushed it if there was something in there. And so it freaked me out. <laughs> this was not in a dreamlike state. This was something that you experience wide awake. It's almost like uh, it's like a, 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 a near death experience. People claim that they see their life flash in front of them when they. Yeah. And I, but I wasn't on the operating table, but I've heard of that. And then, so it took a couple years. It's in our catechism that we're all going to get this at our death and the second coming. We will be judged on love. St. John of the Cross says, I didn't know the scriptures, love covers a multitude of sins. Like, so mm. our whole calling is love. And I was shown I had it loved. And, you know, and St. Padre Pio talks about this. St. Faustina talks about it. You've probably heard the term illumination of conscience. I had no idea. Like it took, it took me five months to return to the church. I read the Bible in two months and I'm praying like, because I was singing in another Christian church at the time. I thought I was worshiping, but it was mm. all about me being on stage again. It was me, 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 you know? Yeah. And I'm like, this doesn't feel right anymore. Where's the temple that Jesus was listening to the teachers? And of course they were surprised by his answers as well, you know, because he's God. But wait, like, where is this temple? And nothing could really fit that description, but the Catholic church that was Christian. And wow. so- yeah, I finally, after five months after this experience and just a ton of soul searching, praying, reading the Bible, returned to the Catholic Church and got a spiritual director. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's a, an immense gift you received. I mean, how, uh, was it at a, like at a flash or did, did it continue over a period of time that you were able to experience your life revealed to you? Uh, I mean, essentially you had a blueprint of yeah. who you were, the the truth of who you were. I mean, that's really powerful. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't counting counting the minutes or how long it took. I literally, I do remember falling to the floor with my jaw, like just wide, like wide open. If I had a guess, because I tried to think about it, it maybe was a ten, possibly up to 10 minutes, could have been seven minutes, but somewhere I was actually shown two other things as well, but I have not shared them publicly yet. So it was things that God wanted me to change in my life and to mm. turn around. And um, it was an act of mercy. And you say like, oh, what a gift. You know, it is a gift, but it also is a heavy cross, you know, because once you see this and you're aware of it, you know, and I'm still a sinner, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my goodness, it just, it feels a little heavier. Um, but but it, I'm also tasked with telling people because I don't ever want anybody to experience what I hope everyone's soul is so much shinier than mine was. And, and it is really a message of mercy because this is 11 years ago and I've been full-time ministry for seven years. So I turned wow. my whole life around, you wow. know, and so there's hope.